Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And today, today I've got this. I got a new radio to review from Retrievus, or Retrovis, or however you want to pronounce it. Eloquence, yeah. <laughs> Another DMR radio. It's the RT83. Now, this is a uh, handheld unit, just like the HD1 is that we had earlier. But instead of being a dual band, this one's only single band. It's 2 centimeter, 400 to 470. So it's more of a business radio. But it has some really cool features for those of us who are ham operators and want to have these functions available. And I'll just leave this up here for a second so you can kind of read some of the stuff that's on there. Analog and digital, so it does DMR, but it also does analog if, if you want to use analog, which is mostly what I've used up here. Now this is an IP67 waterproof, and it also has GPS, so that's kind of cool. It also does, like the HD1, it does text messaging, so uh, you can send text messages via the radio, which is really cool. And, of course, its software is updatable and is being updated uh, pretty much every other month, I think, is how this is going to work. At least it has been so far. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Well, that popped out right away. It's got an extended length antenna. I'll back the camera out here when I'm done unpacking all this stuff, and we'll take a better look. But we've got our manual here. Nice manual. Cool. It's actually really nice. And uh, what's this here? There must be some amended parts to the manual. I'll go ahead and set that aside. And then we have the radio itself. Uh, weight and feel, right off the bat, I'm going to say it feels a lot like the HD1, about the same size physically. Of course, the buttons configuration are different. Got some extra buttons up here. So a little different overall, but it's got that same real high quality feel to it. Yeah, pretty nice. Ah, programming cable. Looks like the same cable that comes with the HD1. That's nice. Here's our charging pad. That's nice. And a power cord here. Twelve volt, five hundred milliwatt, pretty standard. Oops. Looks like it's got a belt clip. That's always nice to have. And then your shorter standard antenna right there. All right, cool. Okay. Let me back the camera out. We'll get a better look at all this stuff. Okay. Well, here we are. Here's the whole kit, <laughs> the whole setup here, right? So let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's just move some of this stuff out of the way. We've got our charger. We'll get all that out of the way. Manual I'm probably going to be needing very shortly. I'm going to move the extended length antenna, which I like the fact that they were nice enough to, to include that in there. So that's a pretty cool function. I've gone ahead and installed the, the short range antenna, well, normal range antenna, I would say, onto it. And uh, I'm going to do a close-up here and take a look at it. Looks That's cool. It's got a spot there to write your owner's name on there. That's nice. That port right there is obviously for the uh, for the programming cable. On this side, we have our push to talk. Looks like maybe an up and down button. And there's a small button down there. I'll have to read the manual to see what that one does. The bottom looks like that you release. Yeah, and there. That's to remove your battery pack. Simple enough. And then up on top, well, we have our on off. That's a channel selector. And then we have two buttons here. Again, I'll have to read through the manual. The screen, let's turn it on and see what the screen looks like. I think it's the same as the HD1. Yeah, full color screen. Very nice, very nice. And then, of course, our keypad. Now, one of the nice things about the Retrievus models there is that you can enter in channel and you can program this thing right from the keypad. You don't have to have it hooked to the computer. Obviously, hooking to the computer makes things a whole lot easier. But in a pinch, if you needed to add a channel or add a group or add whatever... Well, yeah, you can do it right from the pad. So let me go ahead and I'll set this thing down on the table. We'll zoom in on it. We'll go through some of the functions and we'll do a little, little overview of how it works. Okay, so right off the bat, what you're going to expect out of a radio like this is that this is more designed for business use. And that's one of the main reasons why Retrievers decided to make this thing waterproof. If I'm working security, or let's say I'm working at a facility that has uh, a whole bunch of these things out there, but what about the grounds crew? What about outdoor security? What about uh, guys working construction on a job site? What about a lot of situations where you might have 
a radio that takes a hard drop or gets wet or both <laughs> or gets completely submerged, which sometimes happens. Uh, Retrievus went all out and made sure that this radio was designed for that kind of rugged usage. And it really shows in the design. you got this hard plastic case that's, I mean, it's just durable feeling, you know. There's no squeeze to this. You can squeeze this. Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. Nice and hard. And everything looks fairly well sealed. Obviously, you could damage the screen if it were to get scratched up, but it does come with a nice cover on there. It probably shows up in the light as I move it back and forth. And I, I usually leave those on until they get scratched up, kind of like a cell phone has a cover on it a lot of times when you get them. So that's pretty cool. Keypads, well, the keys feel real nice and stout. Got a good click to them. Yeah, it just feels like a good overall heavy-duty radio. That's where your belt clip's going to go on there. Nice. Really nice. So features, well, it has the ability to have 100, oh, well, 1,024 channels. So it's, it's, it's I mean... If you're talking to more than that, then pretty much, <laughs> you know, that's beyond the range of this radio. But uh, it has a, a neat feature that, again, this goes to business, this goes to especially to security. It has a man down feature. You can program this little radio so that if you don't touch a component on the radio, you don't change the volume, you don't mess with the channels, you don't push to talk, you don't look and see what time it is, you don't do anything with this radio for a set amount of time, it's going to so sound a little alarm. It's a little tone that comes on and goes off. And that's to let you know, hey, you better push a button. Push a button and let me know you're okay. If you fail to push a button or turn a knob or do something with this radio in that given amount of time, it's then going to send an emergency signal out on the channel group that you've selected, alerting them that we have a man down situation and you're the man down. So that is a really cool feature that really, I was going to say, if, from all the things that I've, I've played with this radio so far and learned about, that is the feature that makes me think this is the perfect radio for security uh, guards, security folks at um, you know large facilities, someplace that's going to be watched over and over again. I would have to say that right there really sold me on this radio. A man down feature. You don't see that on too many radios, commercial or uh, private radios. Now, it does have the opportunity to have the GPS function. This one does have GPS enabled. We'll get into that a little bit more later. It does have wide and narrow band as far as your two centimeter searching and and that's an analog only dmr of course is its own beast that box of course um it's upgradable it, i've already gone through and hit the software on this and upgraded it once and it and it's at what i think is close to the latest version there might be one more update since then but overall i'm very pleased with it and uh, yeah let's go ahead and we'll turn it on and we'll go through some of the functions when we get it in place Okay, I'm going to try to go through this. Obviously, it's a little difficult when you're straddling a, a tripod and trying to do all this, but I'm going to go through some of these functions here and hope you'll be able to see. First thing I'm going to do is power the unit up, and hopefully you'll be able to read it. Yeah, it looks like it's coming through okay. So up here we have our regular channel selector, right? You can see as it scrolls through. But then these are also the same. You can move through your, your channel selections, right? Digital channels. You can add and subtract. There, there's an analog channel, and you can see the differences. It shows you right there. So some of these are already programmed in from the factory. What I'm going to go do, and, and when I'm done here, is I'm going to add the list uh, of, of places in my area. I don't know that there's any uh, two-centimeter repeaters in my area, but there's a couple of channels that have action going on, so I'll go ahead and, and update that. But that's pretty much that segment of it. It looks pretty good, right? you got your date and time, 12-28-18, that's today, and... Yeah, it's getting pretty late, so <laughs> we'll go ahead and back out of that, and let's go to menu. So we have we have a lot of things going on here. We have messages. That's where you can send and receive text messages. We have our contact list. This does have a record function, which is really nice. Then we have our settings. Let's go into settings, and this is where most of our stuff go. And so if we go to setting, let's go in here, language choices, right, English or Chinese. We're not going to change that. We can do a tone change, right? We can do profiles, date and time change, what zone we're in changing, power, do I want low power or high power, right? We've changed to high power here for today's testing. There's our man down function that I was talking about. You can turn it on or off, so you don't have to have that on. LED, how long the screen stays on, that's a function there. I've got it set to maximum so we can continue to have our little show here. Key lock so we don't accidentally push a button. So those are all functions that are in here. I think that's it for those, right? So now let's go up and we'll go to config. Frequency, 
this is how I want to manually enter my stuff, right? I can choose a, a transmit and receive frequency. I can name that channel. So that's really nice, right? I can get a slot at time. I can change the color codes. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty nice to be able to do a lot of your programming from this radio right here on the radio without having to worry too much about uh, plugging it into a computer. So if you wanted to add a channel on the fly or wanted to, if you, know, you were part of a group and you needed to add a second channel or a third channel, you definitely could do that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Serial number and version. Again, I, I downloaded volume uh, 67. I think we're up to 68 now, but it's pretty up to date. And it, it works pretty good. I haven't seen any real glitches or flaws. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's, that's it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on here. If you have any specific questions about the unit, please feel free to let me know. And at some point, as time goes on here, I'm going to do a little bit of a range test, a simplex range test between the HD1 and this radio here. Now I will use the short antenna that I have. I won't use the long range antenna for that test because I want to get an idea of transmit and receive how they're doing. Thing to note is on high power this is 10 watts and I believe the HD1 maxes out at 8 watts so it should have a little bit of an advantage there. Um, you've got call logs here, missed call, received calls. I mean it's very nice. Here's my contact list. And this is where you would add your groups or delete your groups. Display, add, send message. So again, I can add a text message to the whole group, to an individual. Really nice stuff here. Really nice stuff. Now, again, if you have any questions specifically about this unit, please feel free to contact me. I will make a follow-up video with some range tests on it later on this spring. And uh, until then, I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video of the Retrievus RT83, a nice waterproof business band radio. And uh, one that I think uh, if you have a security group, or have a group that needs to have two-way communications, this is a great radio for you. Till next time, take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet.